All right, guys, this is Donish from jobskillshare.org. Again, another convention. In this convention, I'm not going to go through everything, but let me tell you, the last convention, um, kind of similar, you know, everything got set up, uh, and we get calls to set up computers, printers, some online stuff, planners, uh, online sites, and we kind of work on that. So here's the issue. We have a printer that is connected to that... Uh, right there the the neck gear it has a lot of ports going on so this computer is not getting connection to this printer number one you need to make sure that this printer has a connection the computer has a connection you go in and the line connection that's something that you will call the people who is giving you internet so you got everything you got the internet now so now what you need to do is you make sure you go to the printing settings and each printer have a different settings and this one I need to make sure that it's on DHCP so it can get the right IP address. So usually it's network setup, IPv4 config method, and DHCP right there. Once this is done, what we're going to do is we're going to restart this printer. So this is going to get the right IP address. So let's see what we got. Reports. Network summary. Now what we want is an IP address that can talk to the laptop. So there you go. It's uh, the right IP address. 10.150.122. And this laptop also have that IP address. So you want to make sure you go to CMD IP config. Oops, IP config. And if you see, it's on 10.150.178. Now, connecting this printer is has another. Um, there's a lot of other ways. So for this, let's say for example. Um, you don't have a driver. That's the first thing when you go to the convention. You need to make sure you have that. So you'll go online. You'll type the printer name, and you'll Google that with drivers. And then what you need to do is you need to go to PCL6, and you see that 32. And this is a 32-bit machine. So you want to make sure that you download the right drivers. So this is a 64-bit machine actually, but this should also work. So what we're going to do is PCL 632-bit. Now if you're in a hurry, you want to make sure you get the right driver. But let's say I'm in a convention, I have like 10. They just need to print. There's nothing else. So this should also work. So let's go ahead and run this. We're going to run and unzip it. Once you unzip it, this you will see a folder like this. And I'm going to do auto run. And here is the connection. So connect to another HP device. I know it's on the network, so I'm going to click on connect through network. And here I'm going to use the IP address of that printer. And that was 10. Remember, that's a printer IP address. Dot 50. Dot 122. And as soon as I did this, it picked up that printer. And now I'm going to click next. Installing the software. done do you want to print the test page there you go and it came up so that was just an example of a real world scenario that this is not my office I mean I'm not used to these computers right now I just need to do things very quickly this is only two three days conventions or you could be somewhere outside helping someone so this is kind of in that scenario that you could you could, you could come across this type of real world scenario so I would call this just mentally be ready, be prepared, get, get a USB with you. If you already know what systems you're going to be working on, you can get all the drivers with you. But in my case, I didn't know this is not our computers, this is someone else providing to us. And then as in, I can call them, but the problem is that if I call them and they're busy with other people, people, not, people might not wait. This is something that is going through very fast. So as an IT person, you should be able to know how to do these kind of things. Uh, so make sure, 
you watch my other course which is the help desk uh, specialist course it has everything in details so you'll find out many many other ways and even uh, convention in detail like I said in convention big conferences you don't have time you just have to go go and when you get a call you just have to fix it for example I could have done 62 uh, 64 bit drivers over here but at this point I don't have time so 32 bit works for me I'm good it printed that's enough if it give me issues I can come back and deal with it later but for now we're good so this was a quick real world scenario again this is Donnie and I'll be making more videos sorry I was a little busy <laughs> with my other personal life but I'm back again and I'll see you guys in my other videos thank you